So you know how Hasbro release their exclusives for Beyblade, right? And I thought, how about I make a tiny tournament for every DB or VU exclusive they release. <clears throat> Wait, I'm forgetting one more. There we go. So yeah, these are all the Hasbro exclusives for the last two seasons they have released. You first have Magma Ifrit, who was first shown in the anime. It's like mostly painted. This is Baldarov, Linworm, Nemesis, Cobra, a recolored version of it, Muramasa, Basilisk, Poseidon, and finally, Nidhogg. So we're gonna do it like just maybe a tournament, a tiny little tournament, two points each. We're gonna see who's gonna kind of be at the top of the game. So first off is Magma Ifrit versus Stone Nemesis. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, Stone seems to be on the aggressive. No. Next up is Fierce. No, that's not Fierce. Ambush Nidhogg versus. What is his name? I don't. Oh, I'll just say Baldor. Oh, yeah, and Nidhogg has friction as a tip. So, yeah. It's gonna be more of a calmer battle. It might be Nidhogg. It might be. I mean, it could go to either bay. Because their stocks are not that crazy. Or the combos are not that crazy. Okay, yeah. Now, it's up against Poseidon versus Katana Muramasa. Just see. Oh, oh. This time, I don't think so. Oh, oh, uh oh, no, never mind. Now, for this round, it's just gonna be three bays instead uh, Linworm, Cobra, Basilisk. Yeah, I had a feeling it would have been either Basilisk or Cobra. So these are the semi-finalists. And I'm probably gonna do these two first. Two, one. This is an easy win for Magma. I have a feeling. Yeah. I mean, it's giving the hits. 
And... Yeah, I think that's magma. There we go. Okay, this is when Nidhogg is probably gonna win. Yeah. Maybe, actually. Actually, wait. Okay, that's I for it. Now it's gonna be a stamina battle between these two. These will take, this will take forever. I'm gonna speed up the footage. Is that I make katana like very, I should say, overpowered, and it's all because of the blade. I put a lot of metal in that blade, which not only gives it a lot of stamina, but also, yeah, okay, a lot of stamina and also pretty much a lot of attack and weight behind it, and with its combo that it was given to. It can easily win if it's something like opposite spin. And like same spin, it can do that too. It can win easily depending on which bay, but every opposite spin match, it would just win. It's like kind of menacing in a way. gonna take forever. Yeah, that was a katana. And now, for the last two, Eifert versus Muramasa. Two and one. Probably gonna go to Katana. I have a feeling. Cause like that's a lot of stamina for one bay. You can already see it slow down. At this point I'm just showcasing how good Katana can really be. And now I fared without the attachment. Interesting. Okay, okay, interesting. But ne nearly burst at that time. So that was an interesting round, okay. It's so like it can't. Oh, no. Actually, I'll make this three rounds. I'll make this three. Whoever wins three rounds will win, not two. Okay, it's giving a lot of hits. But will it win? Him? No, never mind. <laughs> okay. Yep. It was Katana for the win. Yep. I made this bay too overpowered, I believe. And yeah, that's gonna be about it. See ya.